Hi, I'm Scott from Six Points Woodworks, and behind me we're building a 41-foot trawler yacht in the backyard of our upstate New York home. Now she was designed with the home builder in mind, and once complete she'll be able to cross oceans and take two people comfortably anywhere in the world that they want to go. This is the Sea Dreamer Project. <music> Since our last episode, I really only had one warm day to do any epoxy work, but it was a good one with temperatures near 65 degrees and I was able to get three sections installed on the forward deck. I spent the majority of my remaining time working on the hatches in the forward cabin. The hatches in the sole of the forward cabin will allow access to the water and fuel tanks below. If you recall from many videos ago, I took the time to install some frames above the areas where I would need access for hatches. This was going to allow me to double up the layers of 3 quarter inch plywood to ensure the hatches were just as stiff as the rest of the sole. The plan for these hatches was to cut the first layer of plywood that's within the frame to a 30 degree bevel to fit within the opening. This would ensure that it would fit and not fall through on its own and then also offer some structural support. Then my plan was to come back with a second layer that was a little bit larger that laid on top of that panel, glue and screw them together and that would ensure a nice stiff hatch. In order to cut the larger hatches with an accurate bevel, I took the time to make up some templates. These templates were slightly undersized in order to take into account the width of the base plate of my jigsaw.
I didn't worry about cutting bevels for the smallest hatches because those will be covered by cabinetry and won't be walked on anyway. But with the rest of the beveled subhatches fit into position, I could return the top layer of the sole into position so that I could make my marks to cut the top layer that would fit over the beveled panels. Now you know we're big supporters of our first responders here at the Sea Drummer Project and it's been quite a while since we've had a patch to put up on our salute to service wall so I'm happy to get this one so we can show our support for those who have served or continue to serve. And if you'd like to have a patch from your agency, whether it be police, fire, EMS, communications, the armed forces, represented on our salute to service wall, we'd be happy to have it. Just send me an email at contact at seadreamerproject.com. I'll give you our address and you can get that mailed out to us.
I brought the hatches inside the house so the glue would cure properly at the appropriate temperature. And then I moved on to the last of the rabbit work near the stem. This is a section of the rabbit that I put off initially when I built the keel because I wasn't quite sure how this curve was going to translate from the keel to the stem. With all the frames in place, it's much easier to see so I can lay out a batten, make my marks, and make my cuts. Well, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times on this project. That took a lot longer than I was expecting. I thought, you know, I'll cut some squares, some rectangles, bevel the first layer, double up, install, and be done. But really, it took a lot of extra time to cut those templates, to fine tune the fit on those bevels to make sure that I got a good result. But I think that extra effort is going to pay off because no matter where you walk on the sole, whether it's on a hatch or any other part of the sole, it feels that same stiffness. So that's exactly what I want. And the sole of a boat is the thing that you walk on. It's a floor in your home, it's a sole in the boat. But when there's a carpet or a runner that runs down the center here, you won't know whether you're walking on a hatch or any other part of the sole because the stiffness remains the same. And because our sole supports are 24 inches, that would have been a lot to ask for a single layer of three quarter inch plywood. So I think the extra effort of the framing that we did underneath and then doubling up those layers of plywood really did pay off. Now the exciting part about having these hatches in position is that now I can start to lay out for our cabinetry and seating areas and know where there has to be space for me to access these hatches down below. I also can start to think about how I'm going to secure these hatches. There's commercially available hardware for the latches and poles that you can use on hatches, but you know, worst case scenario, once the finished floor is down, I can just use some pretty bronze screws and uh, pull those out when I need to have access for maintenance or repairs. 
but I'm really excited about starting to maybe make some templates to lay out for the cabinetry and interior furnishings to see how this is going to come together and you know get some finished work going in the forward part. It's going to be a lot of fun. So your job is what it always is. Like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time. Thank you.